The use of American technology undermining America's foreign policy. Despite export controls and sanctions, American-made semiconductors have been found in Russian weapon systems on a massive scale. The Senate Intelligence Subcommittee on Investigations now looking into how and why. Focusing on a handful of the biggest American chip makers, Intel, Texas Instruments, AMD, and analog devices. They are sophisticated multinational companies that have you know, controls over processes, but when you're manufacturing in places like China, yeah. it gets pretty difficult. There are chips potentially getting into Russia through countries not subject to restrictions, like Armenia, Finland, Georgia, Kazakhstan, and Turkey, according to a committee memo. Between January and October of last year, $351 million worth of battlefield goods from Intel were imported by Russia, according to a report by the Kiev School of Economics. Intel tells us they comply with export regulations and sanctions, and actively and diligently works to track and mitigate potential distributor issues and has zero tolerance for circumvention of its requirements. Subcommittee Chairman Richard Blumenthal tells us they're just starting to have conversations with these companies, as well as sanction enforcement officials at the Commerce and Treasury Departments. There's no time to waste in a now two-year war. Ukraine, without renewed aid from Congress, is losing territory, retreating from the key city of Avivka last week. It's been two years. Why is this conversation just happening now? I think that we are just becoming aware of how lethally ineffective our export controls are, how our sanctions are a sieve. Another concern senators have is that other adversaries, North Korea, Iran, China, are watching how Russia is getting around these sanctions and creating a playbook of their own. I think they see this as, as perhaps an easy path to go around export control. Potentially undermining U.S. strategy for years to come. On Capitol Hill, I'm Atrel Nishar reporting.